Hi, I'm Jason. And this is Joe. All right, this is part two of The Watcher. Let's get started. Are you fighting now, now? It's all right if you are. Fear is a good thing. What will you answer me? Are you playing a game? Hide and seek, Mary. Clown me. How do you know my name? I was sent to find you. Forget about any name. Who sent you? Something you never want to meet. Trust me. I don't. Probably a slow way to meet you. You must be a clever one. Maybe. Trust your father. That's a curious thing. Why is that? Because he can't be trusted. He lies and he deceives. But he can be on about 24. How are you reading our texts? I have. I know your father. I have for a long time. Come out, Clown. Get to know each other too. Not a chance. I will harm you. Yeah, right. More importantly, no, most importantly, I will never lie to you, Chloe. If you catch me in a lie, I have to grant you a wish. Anything you wish. Like if you're a toad. More like a nightmare. And yet it's really happening. This is absurd. I know. But it's true. You expect me to believe this? You expect me to believe you? Your mistrust is misplaced. Go to hell. I've been many times. Hell on earth. What do you want? Who said I wanted anything? My dad. He said you're here to take me. I am. I'm here to play. Do you like rules? No. Answer correctly. No answer to any questions of yours. Save it for the police. They're on their way here. If you say so. A man receives a call at work, informing him his wife has been killed. The police asked him to come identify the body. So the man gets in his car and drives to the crime scene. We're here, where he is arrested for murder. Why? That's easy. The only way he'd know where she died is if she if is if he killed her. Very good. Let's help you get your brains from your father. What does that mean? Is that your question to me? No. Then ask him. No. Why not? I'm going to save it. You can't. You never said that. Or are we lying to each other now? You really are a clever girl. Clever enough to avoid you. Pardon me. I know where you are. So come and get me. You said I want to. I told you my dad did. He's a good man, by the way. He's a good man. Three decades ago, before he became filthy rich. Now he's one of the most deplorable humans alive. No, he's still good. You see what you want to see. Like all humans. 
So you're not human? That's why you stand in people's yards? Staring at children through windows? You're a creep. You're a monster. I don't believe you. Yeah, right. You may look like something from a grim fairy tale. Let me say that again. From a grim, from a grim fairy tale. But I think you're nothing more than a deformed lunatic who likes little children. You're sick. That's bleak. We? We are stuff of nightmares and legends. When you are in the we do we intervene? Intervene how? Thousands of times over the river and the river. We have climbed up in the dark places of the earth to make things better. You think snatching little kids? from their families makes anything better? I know it does. But this is how we restore balance to the body. We terrify humans into being good by removing what they cherish most. Their children? No. The myth that we are in control. The misguided that there are no consequences. That there are no monsters hiding. In your closets, and under the bed. Because there aren't. Really? Where do you think all the grim dark fairy tales come from? People's imaginations? You have no imagination. It's why you choose to hide. In the same place you always hide. Of the dark, dark basement, behind the piano, beneath the musty old blanket. Are we willing to lie to each other yet? Because earlier, when I walked past you, I could hear your very heart beating like a drum. Jesus, what are you? I told you. I am that thing that works in the shadow, that peeks through children's windows. I am footsteps in the darkness. When you think no one is there, I am there. Are you true? Please, just leave me alone. That's when you're the river and I am the river. I don't believe you. I can come down into that basement and rip your throat out right now. Or we could answer my riddle. Fine. What is it? Where are the police? What? Your loving father said he, said he called them 20 minutes ago. So, That's not a riddle. 
Yes, it is. But I don't have an answer. Good. Because I have a riddle for you. Are you close? And why can't you hear my heart beating now? Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed part two of The Watcher. And soon we will make part three. Bye YouTube. Bye.